Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I've got a phone that uh, was sold out on Amazon under four minutes, and Amazon claims that 2.5 lakh units have gone completely. So we have got a Redmi 4A today, and uh, I don't know what's inside it. So let's just find out. So uh, let's just open up the box uh, first before opening up. Let's find out what are the contents. So the box says made in India. How come it's made in India? This is a Chinese manufacturing company. Anyways, if it says made in India, then we'll suppose it that it's made in India. So uh, this is a dual SIM, dual standby. And yes, it says that it supports LTE and CT, WCDMA and GSM. This has got a quad core and that's Snapdragon 425 SoC. We've got a five inch display that's uh, an IPS LCD display, 13 megapixel rear shooter and five megapixel selfie camera uh, that says a 3120mAh uh, lithium ion polymer battery, that's great. And the uh, box says that it's uh, a 2GB with 16GB ROM and uh, it's manufactured in March 2017. The MRP is 6499 and we have got it in 5999 on Amazon. So let's open it. We have got a phone. Let me just uh, find about it later on. We have got a documentation that's from MI that states about the warranty procedures in different languages. And then we have got a very short quick start guide about the phone, SAR values and do's and don'ts. Then uh, we have got a charger. Let's find out what are the ratings. It says 5 volt 1 ampere. Xiaomi, what are you doing guys? This is an age of a 2 ampere charger rating and uh, you are still stuck with 1 ampere charger. Anyways, this is a budget phone so we can uh, compromise on this. Then we have got a cable it's uh, actually a micro USB cable this is a approximately 1 meter or 1.2 meter length and then uh, we have got a sim ejector tool box is empty then IR sensor from which you can control your devices like television ACs this is a microphone uh, standard 3.5 mm jack on the side we have got a sim tray and uh, on the bottom we have got a micro usb charging port a microphone on this side we have got a power on up button and this is the volume up down button on the back we have got some warning stickers and a speaker grill this is a 13 megapixel uh, rear shooter and there's a flash on this side we have got a speaker grill and this is again a, a front shooter and we have got an ambient light, light and proximity sensor over here so let's just boot up the phone and find out how is it this is the first impression that you'll get as soon as you hit the power button We have got our phone set up and uh, this is the actual UI of the phone that you get after its boot and uh, the build quality is actually this is uh, uh, I suppose this is plastic and the buttons uh, they seem to be 
uh, metallic it's uh, pretty decent uh, and uh, I cannot say that uh, it's a very great build phone let's uh, check out the hybrid sim slot so uh, we have got a micro sim over here and then uh, we have got a second slot that is again uh, dedicated to uh, either a memory card or a sim slot so this is the actual uh, sim slot that you get in mi 4 a So uh, the UI of the phone uh, seems to be very simplistic. We have got all the app icons and uh, our folders, uh, all are available on the main screen itself. Then uh, this device supports uh, 4G LTE, that's uh, VO LTE. Coming to the display department, uh, we have got a 5 inch display that's uh, approximately 296 ppi and uh, the screen to body ratio is 63% uh, let's uh, take it to the full brightness and see how it performs uh, it's a decent display and I can notice that uh, blacks are more of a grayish level and uh, it's not a very vibrant display but uh, yes uh, this is a cost uh, effective phone so uh, it's okay -ish. We'll go into the settings first. Let's find out uh, the Android version. It's uh, 6.0.1, and uh, we've got the 8.1 MIUI in this. 2 GB RAM. Internal memory is uh, around 16 GB. Since uh, we have loaded up some applications inside it, so it's showing. Uh, the actual available uh, internal memory is uh, around 7.4 GB left. This is the settings menu. Let's find out its uh, detailed specs. It's got a 4 uh, ARM Cortex A53. Quad, it's uh, actually a quad core uh, CPU in this. And then we have got Adreno 308 uh, running at uh, approximately 600 megahertz. Uh, and uh, the device says that uh, the actual storage is 9.59 GB that is available to you. This is not a full HD display, it's uh, an HD display. This is the OpenGL version that the phone is using. The battery usage time. Sensors. Here's the camera performance of the 13 megapixel rear shooter. We have got some photo samples uh, which are shot during the broad daylight, some in low light, and then during the night time. And then we have got video samples also which are shot during the daytime and the night time. The next is coming to the telephony and the loudspeaker performance. I would like to say that uh, the uh, the calls were pretty pretty clear and the microphone uh, performed well and the speaker is also uh, decent uh, not very good or uh, very loud but it is a decent uh, let's phone. find out whether this phone supports uh, a USB ODG pen drive is actually formatted in FAT32 format So it actually says that the USB storage is connected. So uh, my prediction of this phone is that if you want to get a phone under six thousand bucks, then uh, this is a pretty good deal that you can get. Besides this, uh, you have got competitors like uh, Moto E, a Samsung On Five, but uh, this is actually a Snapdragon uh, four twenty five with chipset with Adreno three hundred eight that uh, is. Uh, the best that money can buy 
under 6,000 bucks. Then uh, we have got a competitor, or uh, we cannot say it as a competitor, Redmi 3S, which is, which people are considering the competitor for this, but it's not. It will soon have a successor, but uh, till now Xiaomi is uh, lip locked on this. So go for it if you want a phone under 6,000 bucks. It's a good, pretty decent and value for money phone. Thank you guys. If you like this video, hit this and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. You can click here to subscribe and for more videos, you can click over here.